This is a brief review of the bones of the foot, as well as some of the key landmarks of the foot often referred to when working with Cascade products. Let's get oriented. All the images you'll be seeing will be of a left foot. The upper image is a dorsal view, or a view from above. The lower image is the medial view, or a view from the side. This is the calcaneus. It's the largest bone of the foot, forming the heel, or hind foot. The talus sits on top of the calcaneus. The smooth top surface of the talus articulates with the tibia, and together with the fibula, forms the talocruel joint, or ankle joint. Just distal of the talus, on the medial side, is the navicular. This is sometimes referred to as the scaphoid bone. Here at Cascade, we use the term navicular. Distal of the navicular are the cuneiform bones. You'll note that there are three of them, and they are numbered 1, 2, and 3, starting from the medial side. They're referred to as the first cuneiform, the second cuneiform, and the third cuneiform. On the lateral side, just distal of the calcaneus, is the cuboid. Let's do a quick review. The calcaneus, the talus, the navicular, the cuneiforms, and the cuboid. Together, these bones form what's known as the tarsus. Let's continue. The five bones in the middle of the foot are called the metatarsal bones. The metatarsal bones are numbered one through five, starting from the medial side. We refer to them as the first metatarsal bone, the second metatarsal bone, the third metatarsal bone, and so forth. The phalange bones, or phalanges, form the toes. They too are numbered one through five. The first phalange has two bones, the proximal phalange and the distal phalange. All the other phalanges have three bones, the proximal, middle, and distal. The final two bones of the foot are two small bones that are underneath the first metatarsal head. These are called the sesamoid bones. Let's back up a little and review some other key features of this area. The proximal end of a metatarsal bone is called the base, the middle section is called the neck, and the distal end is called the head. The proximal end of a metatarsal bone is called the base, so this would be the base of the first metatarsal or base of the first. What we focus on is the base of the fifth metatarsal or the base of the fifth. The base of the fifth is an important prominence on the lateral side of the foot. The metatarsal heads take on the same numbering scheme as the metatarsal bones. So this would be the first metatarsal head, or as we would commonly say, the first met head. And this would be the fifth metatarsal head, or fifth met head. The joint between the metatarsal bones and the phalange bones is called the metatarsal phalangeal joint, or the MP joint. These joints, too, take on the same numbering scheme, so this is the first metatarsal phalangeal joint, or the first MP joint, and this is the fifth MP joint. The MP joint allows the toes to flex and plays an important role in ambulation. Let's review these terms one more time. The metatarsals, the phalanges, and the sesamoids. The base of the fifth metatarsal, or base of the fifth. The metatarsal heads, or met heads. And the metatarsal phalangeal joints, or MP joints. We hope this review has been helpful. Thanks for your participation.